I'm back. Hello, what is up friends? Welcome back to my channel. So I'm set up at my desk tonight. I am going out with a couple of gal pals, but I just thought I would do a little get ready with me while I get ready. Duh. So I thought I would just sit here, have a little chit chat, do my makeup and just kind of vibe out with you guys for a little bit and make myself level up in the process that when she wants to turn it on she can and you know yeah i just want to remind myself too that i'm hot <laughs> so yeah if you're new here welcome and if you're not welcome back i'm sam and this is it Okay, so not even gonna lie, I kind of already have an idea of what I wanna do. So I follow this girl named Kim on Instagram. No, not that Kim, a better Kim. Uh, so I am obsessed with her vibe. Her outfits are just absolute fire. They're totally in the scheme of the way I like to dress. So I am just getting my outfit inspiration from her. So shout out to Kim out in Germany for your outfit inspo. Thanks girlfriend. And yeah, I'm just gonna do my best to kind of like recreate it, but also make it my own. And I scrolled down her page enough to find a selfie. And I'm also gonna try and kind of like mimic her makeup a little bit. Yeah, I just like love her vibe. I want to copy her, her style, her aesthetic, everything about her. She's such a cute and spicy girl. And she also is a brunette, blonde, flippity floppity. So y'all know I'm all about that. First thing I'm going to do is, <laughs> shock, I'm actually going to prime. So I just got this new e.l.f. holiday set. Uh, this is the Poreless Primer. First time using it, so... So yeah, the other day I got an e.l.f. holiday set from Shoppers. It was $20. It included the sponge, the primer, it had a waterproof eyeliner, a little eyeshadow duo, and I think that was it actually. I've never used this primer before, so I don't really know what to expect, but poreless, poreless sounds pretty uh, descriptive. Should make me look poreless, what do you guys think? Probably not. So next up, I'm going to use, I'm kind of like torn between two. So I actually tried a sample of the Burt's Bees foundation. Um, I got it out of a magazine from my office and I'm such a basic chick. The natural beige color on the sample was a perfect match for me. So went and got a full size of the Burt's Bees foundation. But then I also have the Guerlain foundation. Um, I think both of the shades are no, the Guerlain's pretty light. I don't think I'm that white just yet. I'm also gonna use my new e.l.f. sponge. I just wet it. It got so big, I was not really expecting it to get to this size. It's huge. That's what she said! <laughs> I have the Burt's Bees foundation. It is a full coverage foundation, and that's kind of also why I wanted to use a primer. I kind of just wanted something between my skin and the makeup. Um, Mask knee is, <laughs> isn't a good time. Again, haven't used this just yet, got it the other day. I'm just gonna put this all over. If you see me looking down, it's because my mirror is down here. I'm not a beauty guru, I don't have a whole setup. I don't have beauty lights for you, so I do apologize. Bear with me. If you wanna see a better setup, maybe like, subscribe, share, get this channel bumping. Let's see what it can do. I think it's a pretty good color match so far. So I hope everyone's doing well. I have to be honest, I am very unhappy with the fact that people are already decorating for Christmas. Unpopular opinion, I actually hate Christmas. <sighs> One of the things actually that brought Peyton and I's love together is that we both hate Christmas, so we both vibe on that. We're, we're just not really holiday people. <laughs> I know that sounds so ridiculous. The Christmas immediately after Halloween is just too much. I don't mind the treats, like the holiday baking that goes on, keep it coming. Oops. So yeah, let's talk about my outfit a little bit more before we go out. So the look is definitely like streetwear, comfy vibes, meet like biker chic. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna make the look my own. 
honestly my favorite thing about the whole fit is the oversized coat with this like super casual look further down her page she also has another outfit she was wearing which is like a full sweatsuit with this black trench coat and these like cool shoes and i just think it's like such a cool look like i love this boyish style look on girls cool and comfy and not restricting Oh my cats got haircuts. <laughs> they look so cute. So that's baby bear. Oh, not interested in hanging out with you today. I apologize. I aren't like, I have the most wrinkles on my neck more than anything, probably from all the, I do. We won't forget to contour that. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done with the foundation. It's like enough. Yeah, I'm just gonna go like right in with concealer. So I have the e.l.f. Camo concealer. Keep in mind, I am not a beauty guru. I have watched a lot of videos. I've picked up a thing or two off the tube of the ube. The tube of the ube. Do what's best for you, you know? Try different things. At the end of the day, keep in mind, it's just makeup and it wipes off. And you know, just make yourself look beautiful. You do you. That might be way too much concealer on my nose, but that's okay. Hey. Uh, do you want something from Pomboy? A sandwich, please. Alright. Get you a man who feeds you. <laughs> oh, she's awake now. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. So to set everything, I am going to use the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Antioxidant Setting Powder. And yeah, I usually just powder the littlest bit under my eye just to obviously set it to make sure it doesn't crease. And then I will powder a little bit on my forehead and my mask area to make sure that there is not a lot of transfer um, when I mask up. I just like to tap my powder in. Okay, so now I definitely need to put a little bit of color back into my face, get those cheekbones popping. Um, I actually you can actually see my cheekbones just fine um, <laughs> without contour, but we're gonna do some anyways. So for my contour, I'm actually gonna use the James Charles Morphe eyeshadow palette. I am going to just mix a couple of colors from the palette uh, to do my contour with. I don't always feel the need to like get a specific contour set with contour shades because I just feel like there's so many browns available in palettes. There's so many colors, like there's just so many options and like none of these are particularly perfect as a contour shade for me. Um, I think I'm probably gonna go in with that one and maybe darken it up with a little bit of this. So I'm just... So much fallout, wow. Tap off the excess, and let's contour a bit. And I always like to make sure I get my jawline and that double chin, cause we don't need her. One chin's enough. Still don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair just yet. A part of me wants to leave it down since I went through the effort of blow drying it today. Um, I have to pass a straightener or something through it if I do though. I've never actually done those space buns and I think they're so cute and I kind of want to. Uh, but then I've also seen like a lot of people with just like two front pieces hanging like very, very 90s or like two little braids in the front with their hair down. Kind of like, I don't know, it's just a, like an emo girl aesthetic in the recent what you what do you call them now an emo girl in my day i guess would be a today's version of like a, an e-girl is that well i guess the e would stand for emo yeah that would absolutely be it i'm an emo kid not conforming as can i think there was a time they were called tumblr girls i'm gonna just quickly do my nose people are probably like screaming that i use the same brush but i just like to like give it a good squeeze and kind of like make it straighter. Just quickly run down the sides, get a little bit underneath. 
not because I'm trying to change the shape of my nose in any way. I just want people to see it because it's, it was covered in concealer. I mean, you saw, it was covered. I can hear my cats running wild. They're so hilarious. Okay, am I looking going toward? Well, I just think I look less pale, so that's good. Do we see the double chin? Not all the time. Not every angle, but sometimes. <laughs> We're still real girls here. <coughs> I don't know what to do next. I haven't done the makeup in so long. So to do my eyebrows, I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel. Um, you've actually, you, if you guys have seen my full face of e.l.f. makeup, you've probably seen a lot of this makeup before. I don't get free PR. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna brush my eyebrows up with the gel and hope that they stay that way. Well, I guess they're a brow gel. They like should in theory. It's not like as up as hers was in her photo, but I'm gonna try. Yo, my baby hairs are too much. I don't even know what I think about this. I'm sure some people can be like, yo, why are your eyebrows just like pushed all the way up like that? And I'm gonna be like, Kim made me do it. <laughs> Maybe I should have used a spoolie first. Rocky. Okay, let's add some more. I don't want it to look like my face is dirty either though, because this brow gel is kind of like transferring above my brows. Like if you can see right here. I don't know what I think. I'll let you know later. If there's if the eyebrows stay this way, I, I will just see. So I'm not gonna go with anything too crazy on the eyeshadow, just because I'm gonna be wearing fake lashes and I think I'm gonna do kind of like a cat eye eyeliner look. I have a Kat Von D tattoo liner um, mini that I haven't actually tried and the reviews on this are like insane. I think one of the reviews, the girl literally got in a car crash and her, she was saying that her eyeliner stayed on the whole time. I don't know. I think like the photo that she posted, she was literally in the neck brace in the hospital. So I'm excited to try that. So dipping back into the James Charles palette, I'm actually gonna go in with that same shade I used for the contouring, this just like light brown. Comment the eye emoji if you don't even notice a difference. I'm just dragging it out a bit on the outer corner, giving my eye a bit of a, a wider look, like I said. Kind of dragging it out because I'm gonna do some liner going out, some liquid black liner, going for the cat eye. This makeup brush that I'm using is from the dollar store and it's honestly one of my favorites. Don't sleep on dollar store makeup brushes, honestly. And it's just so pretty, right? <laughs> so cute. So sometimes I don't even like change up the colors a lot. Sometimes if you just layer the same color, you can get like different tones of it. So that's just what I'm doing in certain spots. Bear with me. You go girl, don't forget that under eye. There's too many options. I'm, I need to keep it simple. So yeah, as you can see, just lightening up that eyelid. It looks exactly how it did with just the concealer on it. Okay, I need to pull up a photo of a cat. I cause I kind of want to do the inner corner part too, not just like a back on how to get food. <laughs> mm. We love a girl who eats. If you ain't got no snacks, take your empty hands home. Wish me luck. Maybe I should like give it a shake or something first. <laughs> sunshine, sunshine. I said, shh, I'm trying to do my eyeliner. Let's start with the flick. Lighting assisted by the heavens. Ooh, not bad so far. Just gotta fill that bad boy in. What are we thinking of the cat eyeliner so far? Cat eye eyeliner? How do you say that? I don't even know. Okay, what do you guys think of the eyeliner? Honestly, I don't know about the inner corner situation, but I think the rest of the wing looks great. <laughs> How my eyebrows doing? Mm, not really staying up. So I think I'm gonna mix some highlighters together just to like really go for it. I'm gonna mix the, the Elf Blue Lagoon Prismatic Duo as well as the Jouer Skinny Dip. Um, this is kind of like a golden nude shade and I've used this blue lagoon shade before. One side's kind of purpley and one side's kind of like a minty 
minty blue slash green. So yeah, I'm gonna just mix those all together and just highlight my face. Call me Sammy L. Jackson because I'm Mrs. Glass. Yes. Yes. Check that. Glass. Glass. Put a little on my nose. Other side. I'm doing a couple dips of everything and then just tapping a little bit off. I think I'm gonna put some eyeliner in the waterline as well. Um, got this in the e.l.f. holiday set. It is a black waterproof eyeliner. I think I'm gonna put it up top and maybe a little on the bottom. Accepting suggestions on how to do this without poking myself. Ooh, it's so hard to do that, wow. Make a difference? Not really. But I can't stop. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Dove. Ooh, that almost sprayed in my eye. That's the last thing I need right now, honestly. Why do I want to do this so bad? This might be how they're going to have to stay. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but oh well, they look a bit fluffier, don't they? Just a bit. Yeah, I don't know. I think I should move on from the brows and get over it. I don't have any blush on. I think I'm gonna skip the blush. Um, I think I'm gonna do curl my eyelashes, put on a bit of mascara, and then I'm gonna throw on some fake eyelashes. Don't know if I'll video myself doing that because it is a trip to put those bad boys on and it has been a hot minute since I have. I think I'm gonna stick with my elf, I'm gonna stick with my elf theme, elf theme that I have going on. So I'm gonna use the elf volumizing and plumping mascara, curl, mascara, curl, mascara. So the thing about this mascara is you actually have to like do a cup, a few layers for sure and take your time with it but I'm not gonna put too much on because I'm just gonna use a little bit to get them standing up a bit higher and then I'm going to put on my fake lashes. Remember one time when I was a kid, I used one of these on my sisters and pinched her eyelid and she'll never let me do her makeup again. <laughs> Accidente. Yo, I'm not gonna be ready before my friends get here. I'm the worst. You know where I didn't put highlighter was under my brow bone. I'm gonna just do that quick. I'm gonna just use this one. Dip, 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 dip. I'm gonna do bottom mascara. Well, I just might as well just do it now. Get it out of the way. For my bottom lashes, I decided to use a different kind of mascara. I'm gonna use the It Superhero. This mascara is definitely a little bit better. You can't hate on e.l.f. though, they're so affordable. Everyone can have it. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute or two and then fake eyelashes. And then I'll come back. Maybe my hair will be different. Maybe I'll put on a lip. Maybe I'll have a friend here by then. God, I gotta get it together before they get here. Okay, see you in a minute. That fashion it's, over fit? It's just me. Who this? What that? It's me. <laughs> this is no longer my channel. It's been taken over and this that is it. bitch is only. Are you talking about that fashion <laughs> Nova fit? <laughs> Um, where I'm talking about okay guys, bow, 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 my bow. friends are here. I was not ready by the time they got here. Like I said, I wouldn't be. So, <laughs> I'm gonna kill them. I just need to get this video done so quick and then we can get our drinking on. I'm just doing a quick, so I put my eyelashes on. I forgot what a nuisance they are to put on, but I think they look great. Got dressed, added some accessories here. Just gonna do a quick little Hopefully that keeps the makeup on the face for all of tonight. What? Huh? So Behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fancy bitch. That's what you do? Holy jeez. <laughs> I thought you had people that you paid for this. Guys, you're hearing my live studio audience here in the background right now. Also, happy anniversary, Talon and Dilly, where I got this fan. Your wedding was beautiful last year. Okay, lips. We're doing nude lip liner, Rimmel, in a nude color. I don't know the shade. It's like exactly the same color as my lips. I've used the shade literally since high school. And yeah, it just matches really well. It goes with literally every outfit. 
And then to top it, I'm gonna use the Catrice. I got this the other day from Shoppers Drug Mart. It's the Plumping Gel Lipstick. I highly doubt my lips are gonna be plumplicious, but it's a beautiful nude shade also. And it actually smells like scrunch, so. falling down the stairs. This fucked up. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I look sweaty as fuck right here. Uh, ignore that. I'm not sweaty. I'm just, well, yeah, I'm a bit sweaty. I gotta be honest, it's fucking hot in my room right now. <laughs> One from a hose. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I hope you like it. It was very simple, very quick, very easy. Um, worst part was putting the lashes on as I put the glue on one of them I dropped it onto my ground filled with cat hair and it was just quite the thing couldn't get my hair to do anything fun I tried to straighten it it's so warm in my room for some reason that it's very humid and my hair will not stay straight so we're just going with the flow I will insert some footage of my full outfit and compare me with my girl black dope Kim Okay, you guys, so this is my final fit. As you can see, I am wearing some black comfy cozy pants with my black combat style boots. I have a long sleeve crop top, black top on so that if it's chilly inside wherever we're at, I will be nice and warm. And then as you can see, I have my pink trench coat just over top. And I finished the look instead of a black bag. I decided to go with pink just to, you know, add to the little pink vibe. And yeah, I'm loving this outfit. Thank you, Kim, for the outfit inspiration. And yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It's just that button right down there. You just give it a click, and then you liked, and then that's it. And then there's actually another button just below that that is a subscribe button. That's free. You click that, you get to hang out with me all the time. I mean, what could be better? So thank you so much for being here. As always, I appreciate anyone and everyone who watches my videos. And if you got any outfit inspiration from this, don't forget to check me out on Instagram. And other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's the next day. We got way too drunk. We did not leave my house. We did not support local, but we did support staying home. So, <laughs> today was a hangover day.